Right now, big day in the Player Fit Championship this afternoon. 3 1 win for ourselves here, please. Just in touch and distance of the championship title. One win will do it. Talk me through this afternoon. I thought you, you, we probably, you, you're probably yourself, Johnny. You've probably seen the opposite side of, of the coin from last week, you know. Although I have to say, a massive praise goes to the Anna last week, and, and they went and proved it today again, beating the Institute there. So they're a good side, and they're a very difficult team to play against. But we always look at ourselves, and I was extremely disappointed with, with how we performed last week. I think we were clear about that. We made our changes today, freshened things up. Again, you know, getting Kieran Davin available again is huge. And I think everybody can see the difference he makes, the, the dynamic change that he, he gives to our team with a third man runs and run and, and coming from deep areas. So, you know, um, it's great to have him back. We got him eight minutes. Getting Gary Thompson back today was huge. And as I say, but I thought thoroughly, we thoroughly deserved the points. You know, a wee bit frustrated that we'll have to bring it into squeaky bum time again before we, we finish the job. But Ultimately, I thought um, I thought we fully deserved it, Johnny. And you know, I was really pleased with the reaction we got from the players today. Massive credit goes to them because we have been on the on the end of a few cycling results this season where we're, our performance level has been really poor, but we've always been able to bounce back. So special praise to the players today. Six changes now it was a big statement. Um, what was the thinking behind it? Well, uh, I think I think it's fair to say, Johnny, we, we turn right, and there's no criticism of the boys from last week. We had a bad day at the office, but. I think there was some 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 guys um, who had been on the bench and stuff like that. were ready to go, and um, the chance that to freshen things up and, and give a new freshness about us, I, I thought was. And you can see by our bench, our bench was loaded up with with offensive players. So, um, no, I I, I'm, I wouldn't even look at this. I didn't even know I had six changes to be honest with you, Johnny. But um, when we picked the team today, we felt that uh, would would be ideal to play against the Welders and. You know, Mark Russell coming in was outstanding. We, we had a lot of very, very good performances today, and the guys that come into the team were outstanding. And, and, and as I say, along with the rest of the boys, but you know, nothing's done yet. Um, we know we know that if we perform at our levels, we're a very, very hard team to play against. So uh, we apply ourselves in the same way we did today. Then with a with a great opportunity against Dundalk. Good to see Paul McElroy back on the score sheet. We were chatting here to him earlier on. That's his first goal. Since October, he scored here against the Welders in that 5-2 victory when he picked up that injury. Um, glad to see him back in the score sheet. Yeah, well, it's, been a, it's been a hard time. It's been a hard season for Paul. You know, obviously, that injury set him back a, a long, long way. And I know a lot of, you know, Paul's the type of character who thinks he's ready to go at any given stage. But it takes time to get back from after being four, four and a half months out. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, he's, he's, he's picking at the right times now. He came off the bench today and made a really good impact. Had a great finish. And goals change uh, confidence with the strikers. We know that there. So um, hopefully that their goal today will kick them on and, and uh, get us to where we need to get next week. You touched on it there. Did we make life a wee bit more difficult for ourselves than it needed to be? There was, you know, a, a, I'm thinking of Rand Mays' lob that just goes the wrong side of the post here in Dublin. Had a, had a chance up here in the first half as well. You touched yeah. on the squeaky bum time. I think we're all feeling that going into injury time. That's the frustration. You know, the frustration for us is, is that we had opportunities today. But the more more pleasing point for me anyway, Johnny, was the application of the players today. I thought we we looked a hungry team today. I thought we looked really, really up for it. And it was probably the complete opposite from, from last week. Um, but ultimately, you know, in an ideal world, you, you take your chances and you, and you put teams to bed. But that doesn't seem the way the seasons went. But the, we, we like to seem to like to do everything the hard way. So, um, But if that means we're sitting in the situation we are now, then, you know, so be it. And, and as I say, we're all excited now. And um, we've got a massive performance from the players today. And as I said, we, we're, we're so looking forward to next week. Uh, hopefully, there'll be a bumper crowd here next week. But let's not celebrate anything. You know, bottom line is we've got to be, we've got to make sure we're at our levels and we perform next week, or I'll say uh, there'll be a real dump pin in the balloon moment at the club. So we've got to make sure we'll focus all week. We, we understand what's, what opportunity we'll have now. Players are outstanding today, but that's over and done with. We'll move on to next week and we really look forward to welcoming Dundella. No problem. Thank you, Nile. Cheers. Thank you, Johnny.